Once you've signed in to CM Connect, navigate to the Students tab at the top of your browser. From here, we're going to scroll down halfway to where it says Student Registration, and we're going to make sure the term is reading correctly. This drop down allows you to select that term. We're going to stay in the 2019 2020 spring semester. Once you've selected the correct term, you're going to select Plan. When registering for classes, a useful tool is the Degree Audit. If you click on this, it will pop up your degree requirements with what you've completed and what you have left to do. If you scroll down, you'll see things with a red X that indicate something that's not complete. Or if you scroll down further and you see a green check mark, you'll see a class that is complete. Back to the student registration window. Another useful tool is the degree audit summary. You can expand this by clicking here. Once we're inside, you'll see a number of things are marked incomplete. If you drop down those requirements, you'll see some things are marked complete, but then find that this one down below is not. If you expand this, it shows you the specific course that you're required to take, and you can actually click Find a Section if there are some available. Now that we've searched the required class, the different sections will appear here. To view course details, click on the three dots to the right. You can either add to your schedule, contact the instructor, or view section details, which shows you prerequisites and about the course. Once you've identified a course that you wish to add, you can select the blue plus sign which will bring it into your course calendar like so. If you then decide that that course isn't going to work out for you you can simply click on the course and select clear from my schedule. Once you've found a course that works with your schedule go ahead and click and add the course. Once you've added the course, it is actually saved in here, so if you want to come back at a later time and add these courses, you can. Planning your schedule ahead of registration is advised. This allows you to lay out your schedule in advance. Think of this feature as an online shopping cart that your courses sit in until you select register. Now that our course schedule is set, you'll want to add these courses. Up in the top right hand corner, you'll see a green button that says Registration. Once you click this, it will prompt you to add those courses. Back to the student registration window. Another useful tool is our course search. If you expand this, you'll see a number of different ways you can search for a class. As an example, I'm going to search for a communications elective in the course code or title box. By referring to your degree audit, you can find that specific course code. Clicking into the course code or title box, you're going to type in COM dash, which can be found to the right of the zero on your keyboard, 100. And then click search courses. Now that we've searched for our communications elective, it's going to show you a number of different options you may have. It's also going to show you the days and times the course meets, what term it's going to be, whether it's full term or half term in those dates, as well as how many seats are remaining in that course, and then lastly, who's instructing that course. Back to the student registration window. Another useful tool is my schedule up in the top right. By clicking in here, you'll be able to print your own schedule and view your courses. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us in the Learning and Advising Center located in Jalbert 400. Our telephone number is 
755-5380. Or you can email us at advising at cmcc.edu.